It's Thursday, so you know we got a new show, a new trend, and some new talent. This is BHL's Next. You are tuned in to Black Hollywood Live Next. Okay. My mama used to tell me, son, you're gonna make it one day. It can happen. This is my favorite this is song. It? Facts. This is it? Facts. my favorite song. I used to listen to this song every day in the sixth grade, taking a bus to school. Really? Train. I had a portable CD player. It was a silver one. Oh, and I had blue the Walkman. Yeah. I used to get on the B60 bus and listen to the song every day. Let, let, let the people know in case they don't know where you're from, too. I'm from Brooklyn. My Brooklyn. name is Christian Robinson. I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> and the song you're hearing is One Day by Fabulous. By Fabulous. One of my favorite song. I feel like he's underrated. 100%. Like, really 100%. underrated. He I can love that. literally hop in any lane and rap with any artist, any. R&B artists and rap artists, pop artists, and make the song work every yeah. time. And he has bars. He can come up with concepts. And, yeah. It's just fab. It's That's why he's fabulous. 100%. <laughs> What's up, song. everybody? It's your girl, Raylan T. This is BHL's Next. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Raylan Taren. And I have the wonderful Christian Robinson in studio with us. Christian, let them know where they can find you on social media. What's up, everybody? My name is Christian Robinson. You can find me on Instagram at Christian underscore Robinson. I love that, making it easy for the people. Make it very simple. You know? Because sometimes people have like a different alias. They be like, yo, follow me at, <laughs> at, at, at underscore seven times, little pistol starter. <laughs> 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 you, you had that down pat. <laughs> For real. <laughs> now, Christian, let's talk about uh, one of the shows that you've done, which was Tales, and mm -hmm. this was produced by Irv Gotti. 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 Uh, this was basically um, a series that took lyrics and um, put them into, like, little mini-movies. Can you explain further about uh, the series, Tales? Absolutely. It's a genius concept where... Irv takes songs and he's inspired by these songs mm. and he clearly has a vision for these songs playing out and yeah. he's literally like you said turned them into mini films some of them the premiere and the finale are both two hour films okay. and every episode in between is one hour films mm -hmm. and it's from his perspective of what that song would look like in front of your eyes mm -hmm. and instead of your ears it's pretty cool yeah and I heard like in the UK they have been like doing um this type of thing where they take songs and, and putting them into movies. I know the song that you did for this uh, particular episode was Meek Mill's Cold Hearted. Correct. Did you listen to the song or already know the song before getting casted? Absolutely. I, uh, I, and why it's so dope is that I love music. And everybody that knows me knows that I love music. And yeah. I said in a previous interview that if you can remember a song, it brings you back to a, to a moment in your life. Mm -hmm, definitely. That's clearly. So when I saw the audition for it, I bust out laughing because I remember exactly where I was in my life. Meek's album had just came out. It was the summer. <laughs> I remember driving on the highway, blasting it. So it was just, it was just like, oh, this is perfect. I, it, it literally just worked out perfectly. And then you got to work with um, Keith Powers Correct. also in this Correct. episode. What was that like? It was great. Keith is yeah. a very genuine brother, very humble guy. You know, very respectful, very cool. That's a very good friend of mine, me and Keith are cool. That's great. So yeah. if you guys haven't seen Tales or haven't seen the episode with our beloved Christian Robinson, beloved. then <laughs> you can, beloved, beloved Christian, Christian Robinson, Robinson. <laughs> then you can check it out right now. We have a clip of Cold Hearted oh, from BET. Oh, I'm lit. Tales. I'm popping, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> We had no idea that contract would put a target on our backs. In our own business, everyone has enemies. You used to say success is the best revenge. Revenge is the best revenge. Somebody help! My bro is right here! Who do I think I am? What? Like, That's how do you cool. get into that space, like, as an actor? Like, or... It, like for that scene in particular, what did you have to do to just Number one, it was cold that night. Really? <laughs> it was no one so cold. With the cold -hearted for real. That was, it was freezing. Really? And we filmed it in Atlanta. That scene I think we shot it in Buckhead in in Atlanta. So you just go to a place, man, 
am, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. You just you just go to a dark place for for certain scenes. You have to go to places you've been taught all your life not to go to, mm. or to forget about, or yeah. to let go, or to move on from. So the song being about betrayal, jealousy, envy. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can place yourselves in the shoes of any person you like and tell their truth. So in this specific case, my character, Little Tank, was very yeah. jealous of Gutter, who was played by Keith Powers. Yeah. And he set him up. So it's like I've seen people be envious of me. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've never I could I could clear I could say with a clear mind I'm not envious of anyone. Yeah. So I can't say I pulled that from my own personal experience. Yeah. But I have been motivated or see people like, Oh man, I wanna be like that mm -hmm. and it makes me motivated and hungry. So for that specific scene you, you pour it all in your pot, you know? Yeah. You, you get your sprinkles and your seasonings <laughs> and your juices and you get it right. Yeah. So, <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> you seasons, we about to laugh up here, oh man. We about to have some fun. So speaking of that, because you Talk know you me. are an up-and-coming actor, so how do you deal with people who are in your circle or, or people you come across that kind of do seem envious about you, you know, mm. being next as, you know, while you're on the show? <laughs> I've, ah, uh, man. I don't. Mm. I pray, keep it moving. How you feel, if it's negative, keep that over there, you know? Yeah. I don't respect it, but I accept it. Like, all right, that's yeah. nice. I won't let it affect me. Mm -hmm. I, I might use it. I'll use your energy for a scene I might have, such as yeah. cold-hearted, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to acknowledge that. Yeah. It's, all right, that's how you feel. Have you seen anybody, like, close to you or people who you thought were, like, your friends, like, once they seen you on TV or people who you weren't even, like, cool with before they saw you on TV act mm -hmm. different around you? To answer your first question, question if it is and this is recent yeah so if it is it's not in front of my face mm. no one I know has been envious of me in front of my face yeah I haven't heard anything either so and my ears in these streets too. You know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> my ears in these streets. No, so I haven't heard anything. I, I from what it looks like, from what it feels like even, honestly, it's mm -hmm. like everybody's happy for me, but you know everybody's not happy for you. You know, you have to know that. I would yeah. hope you would know everybody's not happy yeah. for you. Uh, as far as people coming out of the woodwork, there's been a <laughs> lot. And it's it's hilarious. Hey, Chris, do you remember, remember that one me? time when you picked up my pencil That's, in uh, mm -hmm. third grade, and I was like, "Thank you." <laughs> <laughs> you should fly me out to LA now. <laughs> I'm getting so many fly me out requests. No, <laughs> it's not happening. Damn. Nah, but no. it's it's funny. <laughs> you crazy? He said no. Nah, nah. It's quiet for you. No, nah, but um. <laughs> <laughs> but and, and it's funny because it's like you 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 see these people mm -hmm. and it's like but when you write next to them like I don't forget much clearly I gotta memorize movie scripts right yeah so it's like I remember a lot so it's like I remember you when I was right next to you and I wasn't not, and now you yeah. see me and you might have this perception of who you think I am or yeah. what I may have and it's like oh I want to be next to you that's my friend I know him bro I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you. Dang. We cool. I was, yeah, it's yeah. what I, but I'm not about to be like, yeah, that's my man. Yeah. And we, no, like, we cool. Stay over there, though. Is it yeah. like that when you go back home to Brooklyn? Um, Not necessarily. People show me love, but like I said, it's, you never really know. You never really know until a situation occurs in front of you to where it's, mm -hmm. it's clearly shown. But from the door, you don't know. So yeah. it's love, but like, like, even like Drake said, it's a lot of fake love. And you can't yeah. see it until... A situation is in front of you when a person has to make a decision, yeah. and they're either gonna choose you or another mm -hmm. way, you know. Yeah. But the you know the hey big head text is coming, the you know okay. X is calling, the, all of it, and it's just like this is interesting. Okay, okay. now all of a sudden, right <laughs> out of nowhere, I, <laughs> you told me all this shit, but now. You're nice what you said your name was again? <laughs> I know you from where? What? Elementary school. Oh my god. I don't know you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I can't. Can't even do this interview. But speaking of fake love, I always ask my guests when they're not from, you know, LA and you know, they th they say LA is like could be a little fake, I guess. Mm. I kind of like I get it, but you know, I'm from here, so right. have to put on for LA. Okay. Um 
But what do you, what do you feel about like moving out here? Is it different? The vibe, or do you like it better? Or it's a completely different world. Mm-hmm. Like you think like everybody's like in their own bubble because that's a lot of you know. I can't speak on you know other people. I can say my what I've taken LA for is LA mm-hmm. is a beautiful place. I mean the art that God has placed in California yeah. is impeccable. Yeah, I've seen some amazing things out here, you know and. From the waters to the mountains to the trees to the atmosphere, it's it's, it's beautiful, um, but it's a it's a completely different world, you know. From New York, it's a completely different world from Atlanta, but it's still a big city. But me being from where I'm from, I'm yeah. able to adapt in any situation in yeah. any environment. So that's what it is. I've just been adapting, but I like LA. I don't have any problems with LA. I haven't been around any fake people. Mm-hmm. The people I'm around are genuine people. That I do know. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, the people yeah. I'm around are genuine and real. The people I'm around in my circle, the people I communicate with on a daily basis, mm-hmm. it's just, it just it's it's genuine, it's real, it's no fabrication there. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> on a brighter note, you were in uh, a movie that just premiered, I uh, think, last week, right? Monday. The Monday. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. you're getting a lot of buzz. God is great. It's really great. God is great. Christian was here, and um, somebody in the studio um, outside of these doors was like, I saw you in the When Love Kills movie. (laughs) And you would be like, I was only in there for a few seconds. I was. But still, like, look at that. Like, people are recognizing you. No, I'm grateful for it. Oh, my gosh, that's a blessing. People, I know people that literally have sacrificed everything they have to get one line on a TV mm-hmm. show or movie. Or this. And it's that risk you take yeah. to get in the door. So I'm very appreciative of Definitely. it. And I never want to come off like I'm not. I'm super appreciative of it. It was a great film. Definitely. I'm appreciative for the role. But yeah, you know. Yeah. And your role your role was Vinny, right? In Vinny. This? Yes. So tell us about this movie and your character and When Love Kills, <clears throat> the Felicia Blakely story. Absolutely. So this movie is about a young lady who fell in love with a guy that was manipulating her from mm. the door. You know, he, he, he saw someone that he could use, and he got inside her head. Mm-hmm. And it's unfortunate. You know, our yeah. young queens, this happens uh, much too often. You know, so Definitely. she went on a, a spree of robberies and killings that eventually landed her in jail for life. And, and her accomplice, who played in the film Pumpkin, and the character that the male was based off didn't get any time at all. And Wait, what? Yeah, it's crazy, right? He didn't get any time. But my character, Vinny, was the guy that she killed, was the, was her one of her last victims. Mm. And after that is when she got caught. So I'm, I, my character is based on one of the last uh, men that she, she killed. Yeah. That is crazy. Mm-hmm. Wow. So what was it like working with this cast? This is an incredible cast. You have Little Mama, Lance Correct. Gross. Um, tell me about that, working with them. Well, first of all, I would like to send much love to Tasha Smith. Who oh, got, yes, who, Tasha who, Smith. She's amazing. She's a queen, man. She she directed the film, and working with her was fun. Really? It was fun. Because she, pre- she seems like she would be like that, just how she is, like, on camera. I love her. I feel like everybody loves her. Everybody loves Tasha. So, yeah, tell me about what's like with the incredible Tasha Smith. Absolutely, the incredible Tasha Smith. It was fun. It's it's never a dull moment. She mm-hmm. gives direction, and it and the, and the direction she gives, it it all makes sense. Cause sometimes you'll work with people and you're like, I don't know, bro. But <laughs> not. <laughs> no, Tasha Tasha was amazing. You know, if you just do what she say, trust her. Excuse me. Wow. <laughs> We're on live camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Nah. So this is home. It's home, it's fact. <laughs> I feel really comfortable here. It's weird. It's something in the air, y'all. If y'all don't find me. It's next. I'm oh, wait, Black wait. Hollywood Live. They put something in the air. It's, I'm feeling too comfortable here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Keep nah. going. <laughs> that, that was about... Um, no, Tasha yeah. was great. Uh, Little Mama is dope. Tiffany Black is amazing. Uh, my boy Walter is dope. Lance, another dope... Uh, actor of course it's like so that environment just being around yeah. all of these people and that energy and consistent it's one of those sets like I only filmed one day for that film mm-hmm. right but it was one of those sets where that vibe is there so I came back just to hang out with everybody yeah. on one of the later days of filming so just to watch and observe and hang out and mm-hmm. you know you never want to get too complacent 
you mm-hmm. know. So you wanna you wanna stay yeah. you wanna stay, you know, around, stay visualizing, stay hungry, stay learning. Yeah. And in this specific film I had the opportunity to work with a lot of great artists. So I always use that opportunity to if I'm next to you, I'll try to learn something yeah. from you. That's try- what I was gonna ask you yeah, too. Please. Like so do you do you ever feel intimidated or like scared to be acting in front of these people who do have a lot more like, you know, to their belt as far as acting? Absolutely yeah. not. What? Absolutely not. Absolutely no. not. Hmm. I don't fear anything but God. Mm. I'm not afraid to go. You have to. You you can't be afraid to stare lions in the face if you want to be great. Yeah. So I look at a wolf okay. in the eyes like, <laughs> I, like you're not gonna intimidate me. You're a yeah. human, and it's that simple. So I don't I don't feel like I should be intimidated by you. Mm-hmm. We're gonna work. We're gonna. It's a battle. It's a fight. It's a fight. Acting, hey. if you're in a scene, mm-hmm. that scene is a fight. Mm. And one of us is going to walk away. Mm. It's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> has no, but you want to. No, no, no. I'm joking. With no, that. But, but you do, but, but that's I'm great serious. To but I'm have. joking. But no, because, <laughs> like, because you have a film. Especially because, like, this show mm-hmm. does, like, put on a platform for young black actors and actresses. And a lot of the, some of the audiences that are watching, you know, hope to become, you know, the future Christian Robinson. Wow, or that's big. I never you, heard that. Be, because, you know, because you Not already yet. have this platform, though. Not yet. So just to even get your foot in the door to be working with these types of people. Uh-huh. Some people are at home, you know, on their laptops watching this interview and, like, you know, like, w- what does it take to really break into this industry and right. really, you know, have your head above water because this industry isn't easy. You know, That's entertainment right. is very hard. It can be uh, very critical. So just to have that confidence is, like, amazing, and people should take that with them. But I don't know? want that to be confused for cockiness. Oh, no, definitely. I'm very humble. No, 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 no. And also, too, but me coming with that mentality, and anybody that I work with, yeah. with can tell you that, it's not like I'm trying to kill you in the scene. No. It's like let's push each other yes. because the energy you give me, I'm gonna feed off of it, and the natural reaction I have is gonna be great for the yes. camera, and it goes vice versa. Yes. I'm gonna give you something great, so Definitely. you can be like, "Is that him or is that <laughs> is he acting?" And then you give it back, and then we like this, and then the director don't want to say cut because they're just like, "This is great," you know what yeah. I mean? So it it. You have to come in ready to box. You know, yeah. these, these these athletes, these these gladiators that you mm-hmm. see in the boxing ring, they're friends a lot mm-hmm. of the times. Yes. And they're just like, look. It's we're friendly give competition. You, exactly. These basketball players, you see them hanging out with each other yeah. after the game, completely different teams because they're pushing each other. It's like, I want to be great. You want to be great. Let's yeah. fight. Let's make it happen. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Speaking of friendly competition, you were ooh, you were in another movie with a lot of young black actors. I was in a lot of movies. You was. was <laughs> Netflix's um, Burning Sands. Burning Sands. And that's where I had, if you guys watched the previous mm. uh, Black Hollywood Live Next episodes, we had Mitchell Edwards Money on the show. Mitch. Yes. And you had my brother Ro. You had Ro Timmy and Mitchell oh, on your yes, show. Yes, I did. Yeah, both I did. of them. Both of them are my brothers. Burning Sands. 100%. So tell us about that uh, experience working with all those uh, young black men, I know they're really talented and breaking into acting. So what was that like? I might get a little emotional now. Like, I'm going to be honest, Burning Sands is so special to me. Mm. That was my first lead role. Mm. Um, That was my first experience of its caliber. Yeah. Uh it, it genuinely forged a family. Mm. Like, we all keep in touch to this day. We all still hang out. Yeah. The males, the females, we're friends. So it's like a real, like, like a brotherhood, real, sisterhood. That's from... really what it is, 100%. Yeah. More than anything, that's my most cherished project really? to date. And I don't think, I mean, we'll see, you know, and I'm not opposed to I'd love to, you know, work on a million more great projects but so far in my career burning sands is in my heart like it's why do you feel like that it's just i think it's because the 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 chemistry of everybody on set it's the first it's the chemistry like Mm -hmm. that's the that's a set like after we'd film like we'd be up till three four in the morning playing cards oh my god playing chess watching movies we going go-kart racing laser tag we're going out to eat we're going grocery shopping, like we, you know what I mean, like. So cute. 
<laughs> but that was f- that's family. That's yeah. why you see us all so close and joking yeah. on each other and all of that because we genuinely we spent every day together for like three weeks. Mm-hmm. So it just it's it's just it's something very special to all of us. Your co-star, uh, Trevor Jackson. That's bro. Yes, it was mm-hmm. his birthday yesterday. Correct. I had saw on uh, Mitchell's socials that you guys <laughs> were out for yeah, his birthday. So tell me a little bit about that. How did you guys celebrate Trevor's birthday? Uh, we went to Sky Bar. Oh. Yeah, I'm still new to L.A., so I'm not sure what area is that. Sunset. I am not. You know, I don't really go out in L.A. Okay, I don't. I only go out. Listen to me. <laughs> Everybody that knows me knows I do not go out unless it's a, like an important event. Yeah, that's one of my friends is celebrating. I'm not the hey, let's go to the club guy. Yeah, I did it when I was young, mm-hmm. so now it's like yeah, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I go out celebrate with my friends. Or, yeah, you know, the I was I was glad to see that like y- you, Mitchell, Trevor, mm-hmm. all you guys like still. Together because it's genuine. There's yeah, nothing that fabricated. Shows, yeah, because like. it shows you even after you know movies wrap, right. it's already out. You guys are still you guys still have a close bond. One hundred percent. So you that's can, you you can beautiful. see that in like a lot of projects or you know a lot of situations like people who shoot a film mm-hmm. and then once that wrap is over, I'll see you at the premiere yeah. in nine months or a year. You know what Especially I mean? with you guys because you know there's always like that stigma that, you know, oh, black people don't stick together or mm. if somebody is, you know, elevating in somewhere nobody wants to be, you know, happy for them because it's like not enough room for all of us. But clearly, you know, seeing you guys, you guys are young, talented black men, you guys mm. are still like thank, supporting thank each other. Yes. That. You guys are still supporting each other, so it's really beautiful to see. I so. agree. So proud of you. Thank you, Queen. So I appreciate it. Thank that. you. You're oh welcome. my God, I'm a queen. <laughs> I'm a queen, y'all. Christian said it. Um, it's on tape. <laughs> so, with all these things that you've done so far in your career, I know you're going to do so much more. Um, how did you get your start into acting? Like, what was your, like, how did you know, like, okay, this is what I want to do? Well, how long is the show? <laughs> 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 so I'll try to microwave it. Yeah. I was 21 years old. Uh-huh. I didn't like. I didn't, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't start as a as a child like yeah. most people. A lot of people started from their youth. It's not mm-hmm. something I knew I wanted to do. Besides little school stuff, but that doesn't really. I guess it counts, but it doesn't really count. But it counts. <laughs> it counts. It counts. You did something. But it doesn't really count. But it counts. <laughs> You're not about to put that on your resume. <laughs> but, uh, like I was Peter I was the Pan tree and in the Jack and the Beanstalk movie <laughs> when I was four in pre K. <laughs> like, no, yeah, this is the one we want. He can be a tree in Bernie Sands. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> I just bro, remember when Will Smith was like the sunflower yes, in that episode of the Fresh Prince. <laughs> That's funny. Oh this is your gosh. best interview, isn't it? No, is yes, fun. it's hilarious. This is fun. <laughs> no, so I was 21 years old. This 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 wonderful, wonderful woman I'll never forget by the name of Miss Val mm. asked me to be in a play. Okay. I was like, no, I'm not about to be in a play. I don't want to be in a play. She would not stop asking me. And she was such a nice lady. How did she, like, know that, like, that, like she I just had an know. aura about you that she felt that she I wanted just, just wanted know. you? Dang. Somebody had dropped out of her place. She needed me. She it was like the remake of the Wizard of Oz or something, right? The Wiz. Right, but but I only had like I was the Wizard security guard. Okay. I had one line. Okay. It was a play. Uh huh. Oh, she wouldn't stop asking me. I was like, okay, I'll do it, cause I was I was going to church, so yeah. I knew her, you know. But I was like, Miss Val, I don't, you know. I wasn't disrespectful with her. Yeah. I was just like, I don't know if this is for me. Definitely. And she just wouldn't stop asking me. So that I did it. I was like, okay, I'll do it. And I fell in love. Really? I from one in, line? One line. That's a great story. I fell in love. Really? And, you know, what any, was the any, line? Do you remember the line? The was will see you now. Because she couldn't use the, the name The Wiz. So she had to call it The Was. <laughs> My line was The Was will Wait! see you now. I love this. This is like. This is an exclusive. This is such a great story. I don't think I've, I've ever told heard anyone. This. this story, like, like people tell me stories of how they got into acting, but this is so good. Not being the real. was will see the was you will now. see you now. And you fell in love ever since. I fell in love. And you know, uh, any woman that knows me knows when I fall in love, there's nothing I won't do. 
Nah, so, oh my gosh, really so, an actor, no. <laughs> really, ladies and gentlemen. So <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I can't. Nah, so <laughs> so I do I do it. I, so I get in a couple more plays of hers, yeah. and you know I'm like, oh man, this is I enjoy this. So I'm yeah. like, let me take this serious. Yeah. I started doing a bunch of research, bunch of research. And it was a time in my life when I was trying to figure out what I, what I was going to do, uh -huh. you know. And I spoke to my best friend's uh, a very successful woman, and she said, if you want to be successful, mm -hmm. look up someone you admire mm -hmm. and do what they yeah. did. And I was like, that just makes so much sense, and it's so simple. Could you look up? I looked up a lot of people. Really? Uh, you know, was I started, there, like, one person that you're like, oh, this is... Let me tell you how God works. Mm. God is so know. amazing. Let I'm about know. to break Let the whole know. thing down for you. And by the end of it, you're probably going to be like, what? So I start the Googling. You know, I start with my Denzel, uh -huh. Idris Elba. Yeah. You know, just going down the list of actors I admire, I get to Lance Gross. Wait. Look, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Wait. I don't even think I told Lance this story. You should have. He'll watch it. <laughs> Shoot him a Let text him know. or something. Yeah. No, so I'll get the clip, the sound bite. <laughs> there you go. You send it to him. So I'm just googling. So I'm and I'm trying and I'm researching his stories uh -huh. while I'm googling. Yeah. Them. I think I'm like 23 at this time. 22, uh -huh. 23. It's two years after I realized this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm just so I'm just researching, seeing his path. Uh, I come across this school he went to, this class he took. Mm. Tasha Smith's actor Wait. workshop. <laughs> I'm telling you. Everything is just coming full circle. Yes, it was 2013. What? No lie, right? I'm in college. No, I think I was done with college at this point. I'm pretty sure it was because I dropped out of college. It wasn't for me. Mm. And I was at this bank job that just made my skin crawl. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. No, for real. And I saw Tasha was having a class in like two weeks. Oh, shit. And I was like, where? In New York. Mm. And I was like, Lance took this class. Lance is successful. My best friend's aunt just told me to just do what they did. I'm going to take this yeah. class. I took what? the class. This is the summer of 2013. So I was 23. I was right. 23. Tasha Smith acting workshop in New York. It was a two day course, but it was like all day for like eight hours for two days. Mm -hmm. And it was the most amazing experience. <laughs> I was like, yo, this is crazy. So, like I said, I'm trying to microwave this story, but it's like an oven worth of, of yeah, things. So, so, so I do it. She was just like, oh my gosh, you're incredible, this and that. She had me, she, I was performing. I don't know if she remembers this. I was performing and she wouldn't let me get off stage. Like, that's how I was killing it. Dang. Yeah, this is me. I'm fresh in the game at this point. I've okay. done a couple plays, but I'm I'm a hustler. I get I get it quick. You done? Uh, you, you know what I mean? I figure you it out. You was the wizard's bodyguard. <laughs> okay. And now I'm on, you know, doing a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. But so no, so I did it. I was that cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, fast forward to the next day in her her class. One of the people she had working with her pulled me to the side and said, Christian. You need to move to Atlanta. Mm. I said, huh? <laughs> she said, you need to move to Atlanta. Uh, you're super talented. You're a hard worker. You'd be successful out there. You should mm. go. So I was like, okay. All right. <laughs> no, for real. So yeah. I just started doing a lot of research. And six months later, I moved to Atlanta. I didn't mm. know the process. I didn't know the rules, the regulations, anything. I figured it all out. Yeah. I figured it all out, man. And I met some incredible people that I believe were sent to my journey, to my path, to mm. just make it work. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? And it worked. Oh, my gosh. This is, that was such a beautiful story. Yeah. That was some of it. This was, uh, but, but yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we get off air, yeah, you got to tell me. <laughs> we can make it happen. We got to go into our next segment. Let's do it. So it's called Next in Casting. So VH1 is bringing a uh, competition uh, to... 
their TV screens. It's okay. with all reality TV stars. So do you watch like reality TV? So when I, I loved the Flavor of Love show. Okay, so you'll like I this loved because it. New York is gonna be um, okay. What's the show? It's um, called Scared Famous. So we do have like it's a short clip that VH1 is uh, releasing. So we do have it. Let's see it right now. Ten reality stars enter, and only one is gonna survive. Red man. Okay. Job. Who will it be? Scared famous Monday, October twenty third at nine, only on VH1. So that's all they're giving us. Very vague, but I'm excited to see it. They have Don Benjamin, Safari Samuels. I'm interested as well. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, so Scared Famous, scared everybody. Famous. So um, check your local listings. October 23rd is when it's going to be on VH1. Um, we do have our next... Uh, <laughs> trending uh, topic. This is called Next or Nah. Next and or Nah. Next or Nah. So basically or how this nah. works is if it's hot, you'll say. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, I'm in the hot yes, seat. Yes, this is about all the hot Might topics. get a lot of no comments yes, from me. Yes. I still got some deals to make. <laughs> I don't know if I... <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, I promise you, this one's gonna be uh, easy. This one be let's easy. See. I'm looking right unless, here. Unless unless you might wanna get like a makeup deal, I don't know. See, that's the see Yo. yeah, see? Then I get it. <laughs> any deal. Yeah. All right. So look, uh, how this works is basically <laughs> Me and Lil Mama go make the lip gloss remix. I, just, I need a I need hey. a Mac deal. Hey. We go make we gonna figure it out. Lip gloss is still popping. Give me some I need some uh some cherry Carmex. I prefer cherry Tell Carmex. Carmex to highlight. I just saw you with the car mix. You saw too. it, right? You saw the product placement. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> so basically how this yeah. works is if it's hot, you will say it's next. All but right. if it's not, you'll say nah. So So next or not. Nah. Next or not. Nah. So right, um Basically, this is a trend that I just I actually saw on my Explore page, and then I saw on the Shade Room, and today on the Shade Room, they even had more girls doing this new look. Now, with the you know, eyebrows, honey, you know they always say eyebrows on fleek, but now we're having squiggly Their eyebrows on eyebrows. Flow. So this I. <laughs> <laughs> Eyebrows on flow. That's a flow. Damn. So you next or not? Nah? Trademark that before somebody. Eyebrows on flow. So yeah, what do you nah. think? No, nah. baby girl, come up to you with the squiggly brows. You got. Be honest with you. What? This might cause a lot of controversy. I don't oh, know if I should go. say it. Oh lord, here we go. I love just natural. natural I love it. I love it. <laughs> I don't mind a little bit of makeup. You want to do? You know, you want to make yourself like cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. J Cole said it. And it's something I've always felt. He just put it in a song. No need okay. to fix what God already put his paintbrush on. Oh. God is an artist, and you queens are beautiful, and y'all don't got to do all of that. Y'all just come up, just do. You want to do a little something cool? Yeah. Cool. Don't come up looking crazy, but... <laughs> But you know, like you, so don't you come look. Out with the squiggly brows. Don't come out with the squiggly brows. Damn. So let you, God so be that, God. So, so that's enough. That's enough. No, for the squiggly brows. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know if I would pull off that look. I mean, you know. To I each don't know his if own. I would even try it to attempt. I, I don't even know how you could. Maybe I'll go look. How do you even do that? I don't know. I have to really go probably like find a tutorial or something. Don't. No. Don't. No. That was the only next you one, no? Like, yeah, that was the only next one. Oh, now. okay. So you no. wouldn't like you wouldn't double tap my selfie with the squiggly brows, Christian? Damn, I thought we. You were get the scroll right brow <gasps> out. Damn, and that was an aggressive scroll. Aggressive scroll. <laughs> Not liking that, oh, man. Damn. All right, guys. So Christian is a gnaw on the squiggly brows. I'm a gnaw. So we now we know. So I do have a game, and I I'm like so games. glad that it. you said that uh, Burning Sands was such a monumental movie in your career because this game has to do with Burning Sands. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, because you know you guys are in a frat, and a lot of times people do, or they go great lengths to be in a frat. Accurate. So I want to know like certain scenarios and like what you would do, like either a yes or no. <laughs> To, to get into the frat. So we have like a couple pictures. We're gonna play a little music. Okay. Hey, hey, hey back. So, you know, school day. Team, big brother yeah. almighty. <laughs> so 
I brought that DVD to set for You're us kidding. to watch. Yeah. I love that. We movie. all watched that movie in the common room. Real quick story. They gave they put us in these lofts. Wow. And they put all the little brothers up top and the big brothers on the oh. bottom and they gave us like this common area. So it was like we were living in a real dorm. dorm. It's, it was like really cool. I love school days. Yeah, it's a That's classic. That's my favorite movie. It's a classic. I love like the talent show when Tisha Campbell be out and her little don't get me started. I love school days. Um, for this though, Half so like t- <laughs> taking to the gammas. Taking the yelling yes. to your face. Are you okay with that to be in a frat? You're you're okay with a little bit of like I'm gonna be honest with you. Like uh, being in this film industry is like getting into a fraternity. Really? Hundred percent. You get hazed. Oh. Oh man. But it's not hazed like you know to the extremes of some people yeah. would do. It's hazing in like the process and the learning mm. and the no one's going to give you anything. Mm. Everything is earned. Mm. Some for for the for the most. Yeah. For definitely, the most. Definitely. Everything is earned. Yes. Because like for me, like that's why one. Well, You're like, earning your spot right here with all of this. Thank you. This is a grind, trust me. You know, so, so you know. This is dope. I respect this. I think this is gangster. Thank you. Yeah, cause so yeah for that. So you're okay with that? Yeah. Okay with a little yelling? Yeah. What about the you cool with learning the dance steps? Like how are you dance wise? Funny story. Like, <laughs> do you got the rhythm down? Learning the the step <laughs> we did on the set of Burning Sins was the most challenging thing <laughs> I've ever done in my career. Why? Because you, I'm I'm not Are you not da- a dancer? I wasn't. Now I I, I still <laughs> know it. So we had go practice and the choreographer like she was like yelling at me. She was she wasn't feeling me. I wasn't she didn't really like me too much. Cause Why? I was like because you wasn't feeling it. Nah it's not that. I was I was it was new for me. So I was like uh, I was working my ass off learning it. Yeah. So I was like I'm gonna get it. And that's but I learned something more about myself and I respect the uh no. Okay. <laughs> I respect. We'll get to that in a I respect. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that like so much because yeah. I had to learn. So even after we'd practice, like everybody would go off and do what yeah. they do. Mm-hmm. I was still in my room, yeah. in the shower, by myself, every Ooh. practice and getting it because I cared so much. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to kill it. And I was in there like, ah, like Damn. getting it. Like I still remember. Do you guys remember. do it to, like when you guys see each other? No, we don't do that. No, mm-hmm. yeah, that should be a thing. No, nah, we do our little handshake that we made up on. Wait, set. what? Yeah, Y'all it was got quick. A handshake? It was quick. Yeah, it was actually Rotimi's idea too. So oh, far, this he was is... like, he was like, yo, we should make a handshake. I was like, ah. Right. So now you got damn. So mm-hmm. this is like a secret society. Yeah. All we ask that. is trust. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go into the next <laughs> picture then. Which you? No. No. No spanking, no paddle spanking. I know a guy who really like got spanked really bad to become a kappa. Like really bad, really bad. Like the image is ingrained in my mind. Like his ass was so red. You saw his ass? Yeah, he had a picture of it. Why would he take a picture of his ass? Somebody took a picture of it. Somebody. So you want? <laughs> you, you're asking me, I'm okay with getting paddled and letting someone take no, a picture I'm of my No, I'm asking you, okay? No. <laughs> getting paddled. Then I'm going to take a picture of it. We getting paddled, spanked to no. get into the frat? No? It's a no for you? I feel very awkward. I feel a lot less comfortable here now. <laughs> this isn't a safe place. I don't feel it safe. It is a safe place. <laughs> okay, let's go with the next picture then. Okay, chugging. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah? Absolutely. Some people have died, though. I heard you. Rest in peace, you know. May God be with them. No joking. I'm not joking. Yeah, you no, know? really. Um, for real. I Even, think. like, as far as, like, just chugging, like, you know, water. Like, Absolutely. That's crazy. You can drown yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which I didn't even know until... You gotta be careful, man. Yeah. But you go on the... What alcohol would you choose? The one that would pay me. Over He's the already Whoever wanted, Let's do a deal. <laughs> you are trying, spon- trying to get sponsored by Carmex. You're trying to get these uh, alcohol deals. Word. Let them know, Let Christian. Know. Let them know. Let them know. Okay. Let them know. <laughs> I think we have one more photo. <laughs> Branding. Would you get branded? I know some people who got branded too. I, I'm, I do. I know. I, I have personal friends that have brand. It's. I'm not opposed to it. It's just not for me. Like I don't even have any tattoos. Me like either. I just. I'm just like. Yeah. You no. Know, I respect it. I have friends yeah, that have tattoos. Own. I have friends that have yeah, branded. Yeah, yeah. But just for Christian, no. 
No. But I accept it and I respect people that do. Huh. Mm -hmm. Well, that's so we know what it's like for you to go through fraud. No paddle spanking for you and yeah. no branding. I don't think I would have made it into a fraternity. I don't think I would have. You don't made think it. so? Mm -mm. D did you ever want to? Like, I know you said no. you were in college. Did you ever think about pledging? No. No? Mm -mm. Not at all. Never. But you did? I did. On screen. On screen. That's where it counts. And in real life, getting hair, because this was some work. Yes, Jesus. definitely. Blood, sweat, and tears. I'm not afraid to admit that. And look where you are. And you have uh, a beautiful, bright future ahead of you, I already know. And I want to thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. This of was course. fun. This was dope. And it wasn't that cold in here either. I, I know. It was good. It was nice. Good, nice room temp. Thanks okay, cool. The, uh, I know it. Beverage as well. <laughs> Black Hollywood Live. Because yeah, I know if you're not in LA, it's like triple digits out here. So. But when I first moved out here, it was cold for like two yeah. months. Mm -hmm. I was like, I thought I moved to Cali. It's freezing out it's here. So funny. But now it's hot. It's hot. It's, it's Johnny. Here. Like I could scramble some eggs on the sidewalk right now. You probably could. You probably could. Listen, guys, this has been VHL's Next. I'm your host, Raylan T. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Raylan Taryn. And Christian, let them know one more time where they can find you on social media. Absolutely. You can find me on Instagram at Christian underscore Robinson. Peace, love, light, everything nice. Peanut butter, jelly sandwiches, henny shots, um, back massages, and prayer. Peace. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Guys, it's Black Hollywood Live. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at BHL Online. Go like us and follow us and listen to us on iTunes because in case you don't watch the show, you can always listen to us on the podcast, okay? No excuses as to why you can't tune in to BHL's next. We will be back next week. We have Miss Jasmine Savoy Brown, and I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye. Peace. From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us, info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live, Scipio. Instagram me at KingXOBay. Thanks for tuning in. Hollywood Redefined. The views expressed here are those of the whole song and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.